wicked, wicked do, religion. Do, do, do babies want, want, want? Are all babies all about themselves? Do babies try to help others? Do babies follow, babies follow laws? They, do babies, they can't help others. They're babies. So, again, you're right. And they're not... They haven't sinned yet. They haven't committed any sins. He believes right. babies should be killed because they're evil. No, I didn't... Because the Bible says so. I mean, extraordinary religion. I'm sorry, mate. I'm not going to follow your religion because it's just unacceptable to unacceptable. any civilized human being. Acceptable. I want to follow a religion like Islam, which teaches that God well, is Arachman Arachim, the question. most merciful, the most Why compassionate. Why did God allow these Muslim countries or whatever to be taken over by the colonialism? stuff like that. Well, it, in the inscrutable will of God, and I don't know the reason why, but remember, there were times when Muslim armies occupied uh, and uh, brought justice to Christian countries, like Egypt, for example, uh, and the Levant and, uh, and uh, Shams and so on, where they liberated Jerusalem, for example, where Christians had banned Jews from entering, they allowed Jews back in. Okay, so Muslims were, were actually, even though they conquered these places, they brought justice and pluralism, they allowed Jews and Christians to thrive. But when, uh, when for example, Christians uh, took back Islamic Spain, Isabel and Ferdinand, they slaughtered the Muslims and the Jews. They committed acts of genocide as well. Yeah. So I don't believe God approves of that. He, he may permit it in his divine wisdom, but a God doesn't approve of genocide. But in your religion, you say it's a good judgment of God. And that's why I can never follow your religion. It is a good, I mean, Find hope. There's no hope in, in that religion. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there How? Is. How? He, he saves you. Uh, he get, I've never, I've never been hungry in my life. I've never gone without a roof in my life. I live in America. We, I have, we have everything we could possibly need. We have so much in America, which is pretty much ran by Christians, that we send it to other countries all over the world. Mm. In fact, the United States of America gives away more charity to other countries than any country in the entire world. So how, are you, how, how, how is America showing its charity to the Palestinians in Gaza at the moment by being the only country on the planet that opposes a ceasefire whilst tens of thousands of innocent women and children are being genocided in Gaza? How is your wonderful country showing charity to the Palestinians? So again, do you think God would think it's okay for Palestine to keep sending missiles over to uh, Israel? Is that okay? I didn't say that. I'm asking you the genocide that's going on at the moment because the, the, whole, the whole world, the whole world's calling for a ceasefire because what we're seeing now is just evil on an unbelievable scale. And the only country is your wonderful country, Israel, opposing was a ceasefire. Israel flew planes you over Israel it. and dropped letters down to the Palestinians, telling them to leave. And this is time we're leaving because we're, we're they, they, they leave to where? To, to the southern part of Gaza, yes. And then they bomb the, bomb the southern part of Gaza. Is it Egypt? Egypt where where, where Egypt are they supposed the one, to go? Egypt's the one not letting them go in. It's a prison camp. Because the Palestinians can go into but Israel mean, free. Why do they need to go to Egypt? They're already in that one. See what he's defending. But they're he's defending genocide, defending but a God who kills babies. And you're, and you're defending Help. Palestine Help. shooting missiles over to Israel. I never mentioned that. I did mention I'm asking why so you are boasting Israel, about... Israel should just say, okay, Palestine, that's okay. You're trying you do to realize that the Israelis are occupying Palestinian land, don't you? I'm I just don't believe that at all. What do you don't believe it? The United Nations have said that... Uh, this country is it, right it, here is the one that gave you... I mean, no, and you're here. You mean the Balfour Declaration, 1917? It's the Balfour Declaration certainly talks about a Jewish homeland in Palestine, but also says it must not be at the detriment of the indigenous people who live there. But that's precisely what has happened. The Zionists have ethnically cleansed the country, and they're still doing it in the West Bank now. If yours and your government doesn't oppose this, Biden doesn't oppose this. He supports ethnic cleansing of land, and you boast in your arrogance that America is a charitable nation. Sorry, sir, it is not. It is supporting evil in this instance. Oh, I mean, there was a... The world, I will say the whole we world are, disagrees with I will, you. I will the whole say world we disagrees are with in you. the end times, and even the best countries out there have end corruption times. right now. End times. Well, even that dude's got a freaking... Why is there that? only one country <laughs> in the planet, in the whole of the United Nations, that, 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 that was voted against having a ceasefire? Only one country. England. No, no, voted against. It was America. No, no, and England didn't. It abstained. And that's the kind and of voted judgment against was that America. God gives. That, that, and you talk about the genocide or whatever you say. You call it genocide back in the old ancient times. It's for reasons like that. All right, you have a country who's sending missiles, and they've been doing that for like years now. This ain't just it didn't just happen a couple months ago. It's been happening for years that Palestine's been sending missiles over to Israel. How long is Israel supposed to just not? 
do anything about that. You do realize, as I've said, you do understand that the Zionists are occupying... And then Palestine hang on a second, no, hang on a second. Bombs, hang on a second. Their bases under hospitals no, hang on a second. Stuff? You do realize that Israel is occupying illegally, according to the United Nations, endless resolutions, is breaking international law by occupying illegally Palestinian land. When Palestinians, some of them, resist occupation it's not just occupation it's arbitrary arrest it's torture it's it's uh kidnapping and so on when people actually physically arrest that people like you say oh i'm the palestinians terrible but you would never do this with the ukrainians when ukrainians fought back are, are fighting back i guess against the russian occupation of ukraine you support the ukrainians that i call double standards and hypocrisy ukraine, honestly you don't i don't know i don't know I your know. government does yeah, our government does definitely. Big do. time, it's financing it. You're so right, your government yeah. supports resistance against occupation in with where white people are involved, basically. But when brown people, Arabs are involved, because your state is basically racist, it will we side use... with the, the the white European looking Jews who run Israel. If we're so racist, why did we bring so many yeah, Muslims please. from Afghanistan yeah, into right, the United States? Right. Huh? I agree with you. Right. Why did the United States bring so many Muslim people in the United States as refugees? We well, didn't the bring them in. From Afghanistan, <laughs> you said, yeah? yeah. Of Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Your country invaded Afghanistan. The terrorists that were from Afghanistan, they, they weren't they, 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 the they ones were, that came into our World, World Trade Centers. No, no, they weren't Afghanistan. Do you not even know who they were? The Taliban. They were apparently Saudi, mostly. Nearly all of them are saying not, well, from, not I think, Afghanistan. I think we found him hiding. Do you not know that? We found him in Afghanistan. Do you know that Osama bin Laden is actually but not he was Afghan, well, he, he was, was Saudi? Saudi. He, well, whatever you want to call him, he was living in Afghanistan. But, That's where his home was, his bunker, okay, his right. Af Afghanistan. Right. They were hiding him. Well, it was Afghans great, were it was hiding great that, Osama it was bin Laden. Great that you Americans were kicked out of Afghanistan, having lost a brutal occupation over years and years. And the Taliban got back in again, despite your best efforts. Who kicked us out? It shows how little power you na your nation <laughs> now who, has. Who kicked us? You're right. But we, we the are, people we, of we're, Afghanistan. We're, we're the people. Laughing. The people didn't want you in there. Then why were they? Why were they trying to come with us then? Because you ruined their land. So they kicked us out, and then when we were leaving, they're trying to come with us. You turned the, the whole world, into, the whole country into rubble. Why wouldn't they want we to? We gave them so much food and money, and no, you got we them set up their heroin. militaries and everything. Yeah? You got them hooked on heroin. Killed <clears> everyone. They have no homes. Where are they supposed to go? Of course they're going to come with you. When you say we got hooked on heroin, how do we do that? The, um, so I don't, the I, army, the US army. They were importing heroin and giving people heroin. The, um, I've never heard that in my entire life. Does, why you army with the Nappies? Do what? With the Nappies. What do you mean? I, I don't understand. Nappies, Nappies. Nappies, like a baby. What? Why are they not? Yeah, because you keep saying, oh, my army, my army. What is your army? Your army, nothing. It's a couple of people in Palestine. They let them run. Run. How are you going to control the country again? But in Palestine? In, in Palestine, yes. I don't have I don't have any uh, desire to control Palestine or be there at all. Honestly. But then why are you financing the occupation of Palestine? Uh, yes. Why is your government financing? Not you How personally. How did you go there? Because we financed Israel. Israel. Yes, and Israel is occupying because God other says people's who, land. God says those who bless Israel will be blessed themselves. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Right. Now this is interesting point because. Are you saying, therefore, because... And I believe Israel excuse has me, a righteous me, reason to... Uh, excuse to, me. Uh, to do, do you believe when God's talking about Israel, he's talking about a racial, ethnic entity? This is what... God cares so much about ethnic nationalism. So he's not concerned about faith, or the covenant with God, or obeying the Torah, or being just. No, 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 no. no, no but what nothing. God really cares about, are you arguing, is the DNA of a man. So, for example, if, if my DNA said to me, I'm a Jew, and I'm not actually a Jew, hang on a second, I actually have a legal right, according to the Zionist state, to go and live in occupied Palestinian territory now. Yeah? Is that what you believe God is blessing? I believe there's two things he's talking about. First off, Israel as the land, yes, and then Israel as a people. And when I say Israel as a people, I don't mean... I mean Christians of any Christians or Jews of any. Are you aware race? Netanyahu is an atheist? Huh? Are you aware that the Prime Minister of Israel is an atheist? I did not know that. No. Well, go look it up. He is. So why why do you think God would bless Israel? In inverted commas. Hang on. Led by an atheist, the, ma the majority of people in Israel are not even religious, who don't obey the Torah, have no covenant with God, are not interested in biblical truth. Are you, do you think that that is what God is blessing? Do you think God is blessing that? I, I don't remember. I, I've, I've read the Bible from beginning to end. I never remember God promising 
that people whose DNA is Jewish, exactly. God will bless them forever. And America, God bless America, should support uh, these ethnically Jewish racial categories. That's not, that's not biblical at all. What he's blessing are the people of God who follow his laws. And if they don't follow his ways, what happens in the Bible? Judgment. Judgment. If you're telling me now that God approves of an atheist secular Zionist state because it calls itself Israel, that's I'm sorry, you're living on a different planet. That's not what the Bible that, teaches. That, that's not what I mean. Well, what do you mean? Uh, well, first off, the president is not the high priest. There is no temple there. Exactly. So, There's not even a temple there. So the <laughs> well, so the, There's no functioning religion in Israel. There's no temple. No, and they might face judgment for that reason, too. No, but hang on. You believe that God is simply blessing people because of their DNA? No, I don't. Well, no, there we are then. So what is the basis for blessing Israel, as you call it? I believe, for the most part, when he says Israel, he's speaking about people, and yes. it's not because of their DNA. What kind of people? The ones that follow him. Exactly. I agree with you 100%. Is Nehenyatu the atheist following God? Is there an atheist following God? Well, obviously not. No. It's, a, it's, a, it's a rhetorical question. Is a society that is not following God's laws, because Israel is a secular state, is it following God? No, of course not. I so what is the so, basis for your belief that God blesses Israel, God stands with Israel, God likes Israel? Given it's led by an atheist, it's not following God's law, it's not even the interested the in the Torah. The only reason I would say that is because apparently it's considered a holy land. It's holy, but holy land. according to Jews holy and holy Muslims land. and Christians. And the interesting thing is, during Muslim rule, which came to an end in the beginning of the 20th century, but I do Jew, not believe. Now, hang on a second. During Muslim rule under the Ottoman Empire. Muslims, Christians and Jews lived together in peace. There was none of this ethnic strife and conflict and war. What destroyed that was the incursion of European Zionists in Palestinian territory in huge numbers when they overtook uh, Palestinian land and ethnically cleansed them. That's what's causing the problem, not anything else. Where is God in all this?